Prem Asim Jain welcomes you to the Mongo training and in this session we are going to learn that Mongo shell is nothing but a JavaScript console. So uh, to support my point I'll just show you that uh, this is my web browser and if I go so this is just a Chrome and inside the Chrome in the more if you go to developer tools it provides you a facility to create the JSON objects and we know that MongoDB is a document uh, database which stores the JSON JavaScript objects which runs JSON basically or holds JSON <clears throat> so VAR is the syntax to create any variable we can say OBJ <clears throat> and as we learned in uh, like as we know that uh, just by uh, braces angular braces we can create an object and then it has key and value so mongodb stores key and value pair all the data in that format so we will say a name as a key and we can say value as for example this guy <coughs> so object has been created once we print it we see the value or we can do console dot log and whatever is the object we see the value so this is a full fledged object which has a prototyping and all the information now we would try to replicate the same thing <clears throat> so this is a mongo i'll just close and reopen it again this is just a normal uh, sir i think the recording didn't start yet uh it has it, it's going on So uh, now we will uh, just uh, save the variable and we would say obj and uh, this the, the way we define uh, any JavaScript objects there same thing we would try to do it over here. So let's say this guy <clears throat> now as soon as we do obj it prints the object for us. So we can do for loop and we can do whatever we want that's uh, everything is um, available here. We'll just uh, real quick uh, run through a for loop. We'll just take a ready made code of uh, javascript for loop. So there are two ways of making loops enhanced for loop and one is the traditional for loop and anything whatever we want to take that is fine that is not a problem we can take anything uh, whatever we want so we can either retrieve the data inside it let's try to do this example this would be simple so I have a text variable and I'm trying to add number over there so first I would say variable text is equal to a value I would revalidate if the value is there then I would have the for loop so <clears throat> this is called as the multi-line comment in the uh, mongo console if the number of lines is more than one it would show dot 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 and then once you print it it would have it over here now what has happened over here is um, it has ran the for loop and we can just validate it with the text so the value has been updated over here whatever we were updating so in short whatever uh, you work in javascript natively uh, whatever uh, natively that works but <coughs> or dome works but if uh, we try to do the alert or window dot alert and whatever objects which are only available in the browser which are not there in the uh, black and white terminal uh, they won't work but the basic javascript prototype object orientation everything works fine with mongo <coughs> so just to summarize this session what we learned over here is mongo uh, is a kind of uh, object database which saves javascript notation object json objects and mongo console can run all the code all the native code of javascript uh, thanks for watching for any questions please get back to me